So let's take a look at the following example that deals with spin-spin coupling. So we are given the following proton NMR spectrum to this ethyl chloride molecule. Now we want to answer the following two questions. What do the two peak regions correspond to and why does the first region consist of four signals while the second region consists of only three signals? Now to answer this question, let's take the following molecule, the ethyl chloride, and let's redraw it in the following fashion. So basically, this carbon contains three identical H atoms. Let's call them H1 and let's give them the purple color. Now the second type of H atom will be given by the brown color and it's labeled as H2. Now these H2 are identical and these three H1s are also identical with respect to one another but H1 and H2 are two different H atoms because they are found in two different chemical environments. Now the question is which one of these H atoms correspond to which one of these two regions of multiple peaks. So, notice that this contains a relatively large electron density because we have three H atoms. So we have a lot of electron density around these three H atoms and that means we have more shielding taking place. On the other hand, these contain less shielding because this electronegative atom basically pulls away some of that electron density from these two H atoms and so we have less shielding taking place. Now more shielding means our H atoms will be found more upfield, so more to the right. Less shielding means they will be found more to the left or more downfield. So that means these H2 atoms which are less shielded should be found more to the left. So we're going to presume that this corresponds to H2 and that this corresponds which has more shielding and should be more upfield this corresponds to this peak here. Now, to confirm that this is in fact true, let's answer part B. Why does the first have four signals while the second only, have, only has three signals? So we basically want to use the rule that is given by the equation n plus one. So basically n represents the number of identical hydrogen atoms that are adjacent or next to the H atom that that we are interested in. So let's begin with this region. So this region consists of three peaks. Now if we examine either one of these H1 atoms, we examine the adjacent carbon contains two identical H atoms and that means N is equal to 2. And N plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So that means this will have three peaks as it has in the following diagram. And likewise, if we look at either one of these H atoms adjacent to this carbon, we have three identical H atoms. So N is equal to three. So by the rule, N plus one is equal to three plus one, is equal to 4. So that means here we have 4 signals and here we have 3 signals. So in fact this corresponds to the, H, uh, to the H1 and this corresponds to the H2.